Welcome everybody. I'm so happy to share my masterclass with you, Becoming Her or Him. Men are welcome too, but the majority are women that follow me. Becoming Her, the coach or consultant that attracts premium clients that are ready, where possible, to pay in full. <laughs> So I'm going to start this masterclass. First of all, let me introduce myself and then I want to set an intention for everybody that's here live and for those of you that catch the replay. But before I do that, if you don't know me, I just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Neve. I am Irish. I live in Geneva, Switzerland. I've been online for about oh, 2012. Yeah, I was dabbling in 2012 already. I've been coaching for 13 years. I'm a business coach and mindset coach. Previously, I identified as, as a mindset coach. My background was in cognitive behavioral therapy, the work of Byron Katie, identifying stressful beliefs and questioning them because when we shift perspective, our life can change. That's my intention in this masterclass, that you shift perspective and that you get the change in your life that you want. That is my intention. So I'm really excited to, um, to share this. And uh, I, I added recently business coaching. I've stepped into that. I'm owning it. I'm owning that identity because I have taken so many programs and obviously I'm a seasoned online coach and I attract clients to me in my inbox. Um, clients that, you know, unexpected clients that um, have paid me in full large amounts of money and renew with me. And I'm very grateful for those clients. And I do respect when they want to remain confidential. So, and they haven't necessarily been business. Some have for sure been business focused in the past, but now moving forward, I'm very much focusing on helping my clients, that is coaches and consultants with their business, with having a tangible financial result, but also a tangible fitness result because I'm very passionate about health and fitness. It's something that I've been playing with for years. And let me start with a story. And by the way, I'm sorry, I want to check comments. Please comment. If you're viewing live comment, just let me know where you're tuning in from. And um, you can also, if you want to really reflect on what is the identity that you want to step into? Is it a six figure CEO? And if you currently own a business, are you calling yourself a, you see, a CEO? Are you identifying as that? Because already, if you're thinking, oh, oh no, I'm not, then start now, decide now. There's so much of this work starts with a decision and only you can make that decision. And the difference between a good coach that's successful and a good coach that's not getting traction can be that you're not owning it and stepping into that decision. So I really, really want you to, um, you know, at, at the end of this masterclass decide, yeah, I'm owning this moving forward. So the story that I wanted to tell you, I didn't forget. The story is, and it's to do with identity. And I've told this story before, so I'm sorry if you've heard it, but I'll add an extra little bit to it at the end because I told the story to my coach and she had a similar story, but in the area of coaching. My story was that I firmly believed I had an identity. The identity I was holding on to was somebody who would never have a flat stomach. It's random, but um, it was an exercise that I did with a mindset coach in a group. And she said, okay, I want you guys to think about what is it that you're certain you'll never have. She wanted to challenge us on it. And I thought, well, I know the sky's the limit. So, you know, I think that anything is possible. And so I really thought about it and I thought, oh yeah, anything's possible, but I'll never have a flat stomach. I'll never, you know, have, have the body that I really want to have. I've always kind of had bloating and that's always been a self-conscious issue for me. And I just, I really believed it wasn't possible. And I typed that in the comments and she laughed. And I was kind of like, she was like, aha, that's the funniest thing I heard. And, um, you know, this, this particular coach is very fit and I really admired her, uh, you know, how, how she took care of her body. And, and um, yeah, I just partly thought that, well, she's kind of lucky, you know, she, she, she's lucky that she has that. It's kind of genetic and I'll never have that. And lo and behold, I decided to switch my identity, not only to switch my identity, but to step into the identity and take the action, aligned action, 
that would get me that I mean I didn't have a goal specifically to have a flat stomach that definitely wasn't my goal it was so much more than that I did a fitness challenge uh three month fit fitness challenge mm. I hired a fitness coach and I went all in I went all in on um you know claiming that level of fitness and that identity and I'm holding on to that identity I'm holding on to it so that for me was an example of a place in my life that I didn't believe something was possible and then it became possible. I invite you right now to contemplate as I share another story like that, that my coach told me to contemplate, what is it that your current identity is not allowing you to believe? You know, if I said, type in the comments, what do you believe is definitely will never happen for you? What do you believe will never happen for you? Think about it. What is it that you, what identity are you holding on to? And then think about, well, what if I let go of that belief? What if I let go of that belief? What would be possible for me? And when I shared that story with my coach, she shared a story because she's just had, she in four weeks has made $100,000 through her coaching business incredible woman so well deserved and so uh, full of authentic uh, authenticity and integrity and um yeah she said that in 2020 that uh, her coach said to her well yeah you know you're you're going to um earn a lot of money and she didn't believe her and she thought oh she's just saying that <laughs> she's just saying that because she has to because she's my coach <laughs> i used to have a client that would say that to me so you you're only saying that you know because you have to because I paid you <laughs> but and it was never true you know I, I firmly believed it because I, I always see the potential that's there right and um, so the my my coach was saying that you know she just never imagined that she would achieve what she has achieved now but when you do the identity work and that's why I'm so excited to share on this today because it's so much linked to identity you've got to believe it first you've got to believe it first it starts there if you believe, well, that will never happen, you know, I could never, I mean, you know, imagine if I really held on to that belief that flat stomach was not possible. It's not flat every day, by the way, <laughs> but it's a heck of a lot flatter than it used to be. Um, and that's not my main focus, but, you know, health, just feeling health, healthy and full of vitality and fit is really important. I think, you know, as an online entrepreneur and type in the comments, if you know what I'm talking about, if you agree with me, um, we can, you know, it's, it's so busy and there's so many moving parts and it can be hard to know what to focus on. And so if you follow my masterclass from last, last week, I talked about simplicity and structure and how important that is. Really, it has to, in order to do something well, you've got to, you know, keep it simple and structured. But also for me, what was really important is I wanted to have high energy. I wanted to feel good and strong body equals a strong mind. Can, can, you know, it's not a, it's not a steadfast rule, but um, there's a very good chance that you're going to feel much more confident. Your endorphin levels will go up. You will like yourself more if you're feeling fit and healthy. And of course, when you like yourself more and you're feeling more full of vitality you're going to attract people to you that they'll that want that for themselves right if you're kind of like uh, you know and you don't have so much energy and you're feeling shame around your health or fear etc you know that energetically that's people can feel that so i believe that the fitness element is so important <laughs> that's okay I'll, I'll park that now let's get on to identity now, I did say a coach for coaches um, become the coach that attracts premium clients ready to pay in full. <clears throat> the ready to pay in full part, I'm going to share about that at the end. Um, what uh, what you can do to really encourage your clients to pay in full. So we'll park that for a moment. But I just want to talk about the premium clients part because if you are a coach or consultant, obviously roads lead to Rome. There's no one way to do things. Some people, they uh, sell low priced offers and believe that, oh, it's easier to sell a low priced offer. You know, people don't have a lot of money. So I'll target a thousand people and sell them a hundred dollar product, for example, um, or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever it is that you want to earn in 2023, you'll do the calculation and, and 
for I, I believe that premium clients, high ticket clients, clients that you know that that will invest a high amount, a large amount with you for programs. Why I've decided to specialize in that area moving forward and not to sell low ticket anymore. Who knows? It might come back, but I believe that I can give a much better quality of service. I can really zone in and focus on the clients that um, are investing highly with me and they deserve that because it's an honor to to serve them. And so I have a lot more, you know, keeping it simple and focused. I can uh, uh, focus more on them. So I invite you to consider that as well, that premium clients is, is a better solution because also you're going to do the exact same amount of marketing. So if you're marketing like a $22 product as opposed to a $5,000 or $10,000 product, it's the same amount of marketing. It's the same, you know, it's the same amount of energy that you're going to use. So, and also you only need a couple of clients a month. So um, it makes a lot more sense. It makes, it's just a lot more strategic and you keep your energy for also clients that are invested with you because the more that people invest with you, the more likely they are to show up and do the work. So you're going to have better results and it's a win-win. So that's why uh, I titled this the coach that attracts premium clients. Okay. So <laughs> let's think about the identity. Now identity work, actually I was talking about this with a friend earlier and I was saying, well, it's, it's very easy identity work, but at the same time, it's not because it's very easy to understand and I will explain it now. I'm going to give you some information, but to embody it and to actively practice it, that's not as easy. And that's where the gold is because this really does work. And I'm going to give you um, some tips on a great exercise for how to embody it. You've got to embody it, not just hear this information and say, oh yeah, that's a great thing me saying. No, you've got to embody it. <laughs> but first of all, let's. Uh, what I want to do is help you to identify that that uh, becoming her, becoming who it is you want to be. So here's how you do that. So first of all, think about, well, who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Think about the results that you want. So if the result that you want in 2023 is a six figure business, think about what kind of a person, if you imagine having achieved that, go to there, go to where you have achieved it. What kind of a person are you? And that can be hard to get your head around. So if you're catching the replay, I invite you even to pause this and journal on it and think, okay, I have that 100,000. Or for me, I am, my goal is in 2023 is 30 K months. So imagining myself, if you want to break it down into a month and imagine that happening consistently and imagine how you're feeling feeling is everything. I explained that on last week's masterclass. It's like, you know, you're going to uh, vibrate at the frequency that attracts that reality. So the more you can feel into it, feel into that coach, that whatever it is that you'd like to earn every month, whatever amount that you feel, I mean, if it's something that you just can't believe would ever happen, then maybe it's best not to use that as, as an example. Use something that yeah, I believe that's possible for me. I do believe that's possible for me with the right guidance and strategy. And so think about what kind of a goal you want to set for yourself. And then how is it going to feel? Imagine being that person who has achieved it. So specifically what you want to look at, this is identity work. What we're doing is, and you, by the way, you can even, it's like an alter ego. You can even call it a different person. I, I delivered a whole 30 day program on um, alter ego, alter ego mastery uh, two years ago. I delivered it and it was all around that. There's so many um, kind of little tools you can use to really, you know, activate that alter ago. Todd Herman, H-E-R-M-A-N-N, -E, -N -N, he wrote a great book, uh, The Alter Ego Effect. And he goes into detail in that. And he talks about, you know, like Beyonce, she had an alter ego called um, Sasha Fierce. And she doesn't use it anymore, apparently, because she doesn't need it. But she would come on stage and she would call in that Sasha Fierce, you know, pretend she was somebody else. David Bowie also did that. This is a known mindset hack that works. It really does work. So, you know, think about 
and have fun with it. If you want to call yourself something different, you know, if you feel like, oh, the current me would never be able to do that, but call it, you know, that some snazzy name <laughs> that, that lights you up. And what you can do as well is, uh, Todd Herman calls it a talisman. So what he would do actually, <laughs> because his, he imagined that alter ego was uh, very intellectual and he actually purchased, he didn't need glasses. He purchased glasses and he wore glasses without a prescription. These have a prescription, <laughs> but, um, and he put them on and he would embody the identity when he had the glasses on. So you can do, I've done it before with a bracelet. I've done it before with a ring. So you want to activate it, but before activating it, you need to get very clear about who that is. So think about how do you carry yourself? If you are that person who I'm going to say six, six figures next year, let's say 10, 10 K months on average. I know it's a little bit less, but you might start. It takes time to build. So uh, imagine you're earning 10 K months consistently. And um, what are you thinking? And, and you know that that money is showing up consistently because you've got a great system. You're great at marketing. You're great at business. You've got a great coach. <laughs> and it's all flowing so, so well. You feel like that six figure CEO, seriously. How does it feel? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? What are your common thoughts? A lot of gratitude, right? I imagine. Like, oh, wow, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so grateful. Oh, I want to buy gifts for this person or that person. I want to give. I want to inspire. I want to show people that this is me, that that what I, what I always think I, I want to show people, I want to, I want to pass it on. I want to pay it forward. I want to let them know this is how you can do it. This is, this is how I've done it. Now, by the way, I won't, I have no story of, oh, I did it. And then the next day I got a high, uh, a premium client. I did have one very interesting situation where I did a, a guided meditation similar to an activation that I've created. Uh, let me know if you want that. Uh, I can send you that link. It's a 19 minute activation where you go into a deep relaxation and then you embody the identity of the six figure CEO. And I did something similar to that. And I got so deep into it. And uh, high, and uh, high tickets, I got a high ticket client immediately when I you know was finished and I checked my messages and it was out of the blue. It was so random. I thought, wow, you know, just going to that place and visualizing is so powerful. So it has actually happened to me once but honestly it's you know just consistently practicing it and it's so so important because self-doubt comes in as well fear comes in as well you know making mistakes and feeling you know oh gosh it's not working as I had hoped or intended you know there's a lot of times like that as an entrepreneur and and it's you know staying the course and navigating those and then it comes good and then it comes good. It's quite a journey. And then you go to the next level and you have it again, new level, new devil. And it's, it's incredible. It's a lot of mindset work, but the, uh, the very, very powerful mindset work is the identity, identity, embodying the identity. So thinking about what thoughts are you thinking? So I really want to invite you to do that because I'd like you to leave this masterclass with a much clearer idea about who that woman is or that man is. <laughs> I'd like you to consider what they're thinking, how they're behaving, what clothes they're wearing, how are they carrying themselves? And how are they feeling about spending money? Because if there's a continuous flow, CEO flow, I love the word flow, because really there is, you know, uh, when we trust that we're in an abundant universe, there is a continuous flow and we're in flow. When we're taking inspired action, we're in flow. So just notice how does that six figure CEO spend money? Is it with fear or is it with trust? And oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to pay my bills. I'm so grateful to um, uh, invest because, you know, that's just, there's a, it's a cycle. More money is coming. So notice how she feels. Notice where she's living. Has she moved? Does she uh, bought uh, nice new furniture or is she going out for dinner more? Is she got a personal trainer? 
don't really believe we need a personal trainer. I believe that we need a lot of discipline and uh, for sure it, it helps with getting your posture right, etc. But the most important thing is mindset, which by the way, if you join my mastermind, my year long mastermind, you've got a weekly mastermind group call on fitness plus all the one-to-one -one individual coaching will include uh, fitness and health support and accountability as well. If you want it, I have no desire to, uh, to push that on anybody who's very happy with their current lifestyle in that respect. Because honestly, by the way, this is something I wanted to share. <laughs> There's no one way to get there. No one way. There is a guy, his name is Braca, I think I think it's Braca, B R A C A. If you Google him, he gets thousands of people showing up to to watch him. Now he's not like Tony Robbins or anybody like that. The very interesting thing about Braca is if you go see him, you stand, I don't know, or sit and watch him, and he comes on the stage and he just stares. He doesn't talk. He just stares, and people say that they feel such peace and healing when they see him it's fascinating i followed him for a while i mean beautiful beautiful soul for sure and he's definitely got some special gift but my point is like you don't need necessarily to be saying a certain thing because he doesn't even talk <laughs> what you've got to do is be you and tap into your own unique gifts that's the way to get there so there's no one way to get there the only way is to get there in a way that feels good to you that feels aligned to you that's your best chance of success obviously you need strategy you need uh, to be really clear in your messaging to be able to let people know what problem you solve and to let them know that you understand their pain you know what it's like and you know how to overcome it things like that. Your branding uh, is, is definitely important so that people get a feel for you. But yeah, you don't necessarily have to talk. <laughs> That's an option too. Be like Brecca. <laughs> I don't know if he's still, uh, if he's still showing up to live events, but um, yeah, check him out. <laughs> okay. So um, also think about what kind of clients do you have? What kind of clients do you have? Clients that you love working with, that really light you up. Clients that you're excitedly celebrate transformation with them and the wins. Clients that um, have the courage to be vulnerable with you and feel safe to be vulnerable. That you know you have a trusting relationship with. Those are nice clients. <laughs> Those are premium clients. Uh, do you have staff supporting you? Do you have people, you know, do you have a virtual assistant? Do you have a media person? Do you have, what kind of a setup do you have? Imagine that person. We're, we're thinking about the identity of that six-figure CEO or seven-figure CEO, by the way, if you want to, if you want to play with that, you could have an, a different name for each identity, <laughs> for each alter ego. Um, and then also, of course, I say, what is your relationship with your health and your body? What is your relationship with your health and your body? Uh, do you trust your body that it's working really well for you? And do you take really good care of it? Do you love and appreciate it? That's all uh, really important to me in my future identity. I hope I continue to, uh, to nurture that and have a lot of respect for this vessel that moves me through life. Okay, so think about that and, and you know, think about it every day because this work works if you work it and you've got to work it. It's an incredibly powerful tool. There's lots of examples of people that uh, use it successfully. Um, Beyonce probably being the most well-known one, but there's many, many people who tap into this, um, but it only works if you work it. So um, think about it more and more as you go about your day. Oh, how would I feel? Because sometimes it can be hard to imagine how you'd feel. So that requires actually, um, at the end of my yoga session now, I'm doing um, visualization in the mornings. I'm, I'm imagining, I'm imagining. That's one thing I do. The other thing I do, what I wanted to share with you to do a great exercise for embodiment, 
is, and this is something I used to practice and I lost the habit and recently started it again <laughs> ahead of this masterclass. I was like, oh my God, how did, why did I forget about that? I used to even get clients to do it. It's a really good exercise. Tony Robbins is actually apparently the person who originally suggested it. It's a 15 minute walk and this is what you do. The first five minutes of your walk, you don't have any headphones or anything. You are just practicing presence. So you're just walking, you set the timer on your phone and you take in your surroundings, nature, etc. You're practicing presence, noticing your breath. It's a beautiful exercise to do actually. It's really like you become more mindful of everything. That's the first five minutes. The second five minutes, you're practicing gratitude actively. Everything in your life that you feel grateful for, the people, the experiences, everything. So you're really ri raising your vibration with because gratitude is probably the most powerful way to raise your vibration. Gratitude and connection does it for me too that raises my vibration as well when I connect with people that I love or even people I don't know that, you know, could chat with someone on the street and feel, feel better after it sometimes. <laughs> the third five minutes. So the first five minutes was getting present. The second five minutes was gratitude. And the third five minutes is practicing becoming that person. So you embody that identity of that future you. So you embody the alter ego. That is the most effective way of doing this identity work, of embodying it. You feel into it for five minutes. And if you do that every day, you'll get more used to that future person. And allow yourself as much as possible to feel it, like really, really feel it as if you already are that person. Be careful not to get into kind of neediness, like, oh, I really want to be there. You know, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Keep it light because that neediness will bring you into lack energy and you want to stay in abundance and like, what fun that I can play with life like this. And it's a really powerful exercise to do. So, and quite magical. <laughs> so that's how, what I would recommend to do. What the other thing that's super important we're going to move on. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, please, on the replay as well. Let me know if you have any questions on regarding, um, you know, creating that, uh, that identity. Please, I'd be very, very happy to, to help you with uh, getting clear about that identity or, you know, if there's any confusion there, don't hesitate to message me and ask me. Okay, the next thing that's very important is to look at in order to step into that future identity, you've got to let go of your current identity. Not all of it, obviously, but the parts that are holding you back. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the beautiful shadows we all have. Everybody has shadow. Everybody has fear. Everybody has self-doubt. They're going to have it in some areas, you know, they might be, uh, unless they're like Buddha or somebody like that, <laughs> they're going to have um, fears and doubts. So you're completely normal with having them. Um, but um, you can release them. They're just like I was shared my example at the start where I had a belief that was <clears throat> completely unfounded. And so many beliefs are. So many beliefs are. So what are you believing at the moment about when you think about that six figure CEO, what thoughts come up? You know, the, what the, the shadow thoughts, the doubt, etc. What beliefs come up for you around? Is that possible for you? And if you think like, well, it's not possible for me because, what is your reason for that? There's a great co coach called Jana Kingsford who uses something called belief ethics. And I really like that because what she says is equals, equals. Me being the seven figure, the six figure earner equals. And so you're separating yourself from it. It's like there's you and then you're, there's your, your beliefs. So try that, put, put equals and think of all the, uh, you know, the doubt that you have, well, equals, um, oh, that will demand too much of me. Uh, I don't have what it takes, for example, are common uh, beliefs around that. Um, it will be too busy. I won't be able to be uh, the mother then or partner that I want to be. Will, I'll, I'll feel too stressed. It will be too much responsibility. Um, I'll be afraid I won't be able to deliver. Um, I'll feel greedy to take a lot of money, you know, whatever comes up for you. Think about it. Think about the, um, you know, is there imposter syndrome? Is there a fear of failure? Is there a fear of success? They're the biggies. <laughs> Think about your doubts. 
And then for everything that you write down, that is an identity. That's an identity that you're attached to. So look at what you can believe instead, what's possible instead for each belief that you write down, what's possible in, instead. So um, I don't have what it takes, for example, a very common one. What's possible to believe instead? What if you started to believe that you have what it takes? What might be possible if you started to believe that you have what it takes? How might your life change if you adopt that belief and you start to make all your future decisions from there? So you've got to look, it's very important to look at all the things that will hold you back from stepping into that identity. All those shadows lurking, catch them <laughs> and be mindful of them. And um, then look at what's possible for me to believe instead. So if you were to do that same exercise again with the equal symbol, six figures equals, I have what it takes. This future is for me. Others have done it, so why not me? They're not more clever. They've just figured it out and I'm figuring it out too. I'm so excited for 2023 and what lies ahead as I choose and decide to step into that identity. So notice your energy shifting when you look at what's actually possible. They're just beliefs. And every belief can be shifted. I promise you, every belief can be shifted. You've got to believe that. If you are believing I'm somehow flawed or not good enough, that's just a belief. It's not reality. So it might take a while to shift it, working with a coach or doing EFT, tapping. That's an emotional freedom technique. It's a very powerful technique for releasing those um, beliefs that don't serve you. The work of Byron Katie, which I certified in, that's a super powerful process as well for questioning. Is it true? I don't have what it takes. She's got a super powerful questioning process. So um, message me if you'd like... Uh, some ideas for what would best work for you. Cause there's, again, many roads lead to Rome. There's many different ways that we can re release those identities, old identities that don't serve us. And by the way, actually a lot of reasons why we hold on to an identity is for acceptance by others, family, friends, they know us a certain way. They're used to us behaving in a certain way. We play a particular role in a family dynamic, for example. And if we suddenly shift, people are like, hmm, that, what, what's got into you? <laughs> you know, and there can be, it can feel challenging, but you know what, you've just, there'll be a phase where you just have to really release uh, whatever other people are thinking of you. Don't, don't care about that because this is your future and you've got to, um, you know, take responsibility for that yourself. And, you know, you have a choice. You can be invested in their approval and you can live your life for their approval, or you can choose to go on a different journey of, well, what do I want for me? What do I want for me? What do I want to create for me? And in order to create that, who do I need to become? Uh, it might include having the courage to stand up for yourself, to speak your truth, to speak out, to say, I am no longer available for that anymore. Having strong boundaries. And by the way, a six figure CEO will have very strong boundaries because you've got to be really good with your time management in order to have time to include fitness as well <laughs> and structure, which I talked about on last week's masterclass. So think about what you need to release, what you need to let go of, and um, think about the fears that come up. If you imagine people who might not be so happy about you letting go of certain things and just decide, you know, well, what's more important to me, their approval or my happiness for the life that I want to live. You get to design the life you want. I'm actually gonna read something to you that came across my screen this morning. Something old from um, uh, Amanda Francis, a coach that I like. and. I love it. What she said was, yes, this is, listen to this. And this is really about, it's linked with identity. She said, I want to be clear. She is, by the way, um, is she an eight figure CEO? I don't know, but she's, yeah, she's, she, she earned a lot of money per month, <laughs> hundreds of thousands, if not at this stage, a million, a million a month. I'm not sure. So she says, I want to be clear. I live an unrealistic life because 
I believed in unrealistic dreams. She started the email saying that uh, she was had a conversation with somebody when she was a PhD student and somebody asked her about her future and she was saying, oh, well, I dream of, and she was painting a very bright picture and they said to her that that was unrealistic and, you know, she should get, she should really get more um, realistic and sensible about um, her future. So she says, I live an unrealistic life because I believed in unrealistic dreams. And she really did. She came from nothing much, you know, lower middle class family. And she created this. She designed it herself because she chose it. She claimed it. And it was because she embodied that identity. I have no interest in what is logical, practical, or realistic. I'll read that again. I have no interest in what is logical, practical, or realistic. Your logical mind will say, oh, that's not possible. That's not a good idea. That's not sensible. Oh, you shouldn't. But if you follow your heart and take inspired action, the sky is the limit. I want to, uh, <laughs> I want to, how the hell did she do that? I can't stop watching. Holy fuck. I can have it too, kind of life. <laughs> love, family, and business. I support it and continue to support my dreams with actions that should not have been enough and should not have worked. But with faith, we move mountains. With faith, we move mountains. So really believing that you can become that person and stepping into that identity already now as much as possible, practicing, practicing it, playing with it. And heartfelt belief combined with inspired action is always enough. She's not, she's not making that up, you know, that's, that's been her experience. And, and I love that because, you know, she's, she's really um, created such an incredible, uh, designed an incredible um, life for herself. So think about what you want to create for you and whatever you do, don't be sensible because <laughs> that, that sensible mind filled with doubt will not, you know, if you're coming from your heart and you're taking inspired action, that's where magic happens. That's where miracles happen. So you want to stay as much as possible in that and in faith, faith, what did you say about faith moves mountains, but with faith, we move mountains. So what I want to um, share with you as well is the magic question to ask yourself. <laughs> From now on, every decision that you make, I want you to ask yourself, is this the decision that that future version of me that you created earlier, is this the decision that they would make? Am I coming from a place of faith or from fear? Faith that yes, I can make those decisions already that that six figure CEO would make. Are you coming from faith or fear? So the question to ask yourself is, what would they decide? And that's the decision to take. Because as much as possible in every way, and I realize that it's not gonna be possible in every single way, obviously, but as much as possible, take the decisions, behave like that person now. The more you embody it, the more it will work. It works if you work it, but only if you work it. <clears throat> so embody it. So that question, that magic question to ask yourself is, what would they do? Whatever you named your alter ego, <laughs> the future you, what would they do? Okay, so that I think is all what I wanted to share about identity. Ask me any questions that you have already. If you embody what I've shared with you, this will change everything the more that you can embody that energy and come from that high vibe energy. And yes, I did want to share one more thing because there's going to be days where you experience doubt and fear and you just cannot get it together and you just cannot do what you want, what you were supposed to do and what you know you should do. And you beat yourself up and go into sabotage. And that's a completely normal part of the journey, by the way, you're no different than anybody else. It's, it's normal. <laughs> so just be careful not to dramatize and like, Oh, they're, they're all perfect, doing it perfectly, and I'm not. No, believe me, it's, it's messy. <laughs> Getting there is messy. And, um, you know, it's uh, really from the outside, it might look easy. Uh, but no, <laughs> believe me, me personally, there's, there's been a lot. It, you know, it's not, it's not been like that. It's been... <laughs> but you know what? You get such a richness of character. You develop a richness of character through every obstacle and that's why they come in your way right 
That's how you earn your stripes. So um, on those days when you're feeling low, to shift out of it. So you don't always have to shift out, out of it, by the way. You know, maybe you need to allow yourself to just process it and feel it, whatever emotion you're feeling. If you're feeling, um, I mean, anger can be great a great catalyst for for change go for it enjoy the anger <laughs> but if you're feeling self-doubt and um you know really just oh my and, and then you know the thing is like oh no i know that i'm this uh, that i'm vibrating at this really low frequency because it's like a doubt frequency <laughs> that's that's what happens to me it's like no i have to shift it i don't want any of that going out because i'll tune into the wrong frequency the wrong radio station <laughs> so um what I what I do is if I catch it is uh, I want to shift my mind to something else. So go for a walk in nature or just turn your attention towards something else, something that lights you up. Uh, take your take your mind off it. That's that's what works best for me. Also, the gym, sport, strength training. There's something about strength training that really helps me. But yeah, yoga, any kind of physical movement, get your blood circulating and get out of your head and into your body because it's all you know up there that you know that that's where all that doubt and fear lives and you want to stay as far away from it as possible and you want to stay in faith in your heart so um when you catch it think oh okay i'm in that fear and doubt and then just switch pattern interrupt pattern interrupt yesterday i was talking with a client and um you know, she she had stuff to share that was quite challenging, and on on you know, I was giving her the space to do that, and then my laptop just uh, turned off. It's never ever happened. It was the strangest thing, and um, it just shut down. And um, then I restarted and said, "Wow, you know, that was the most obvious pattern interrupt that has ever happened." So let's look at what's possible now. What can we create for the future? Because you know it's definitely got its place. We need to process stuff, but we don't want to stay there. We then want to look at, okay, so now what? It is what it is. And that's all it is. Now what? Now what? What am I going to do to shift out of it? You know, it's a lot of fun, you know, when you approach life like that and, uh, and just accept, you know, some days you're, you're just going to feel off. Um, it can be hormones as well. And that's related to your food intake and, um, environmental pollution things you know there's so many there's so many things to look into if you work with me inside my mastermind then i will help you to really look uh, much more deeply at that you know what are the things that are pulling you down to have awareness around that or what are the things that are uh, helping you to raise your vibration because as much as possible you want to because it feels better and also you're going to your life is just going to flow better when you're feeling good so on that note, I want to share with you about my six figure CEO flow mastermind. That's my one offering in 2023. I have changed my business structure to very simple. So it's just that one mastermind, but it's a hybrid mastermind. You also get to experience uh, one to one coaching with me. And um, that's for the first three people. I'm doing an exceptional offer, really working intensively with the first three that you'll get to work with me four days a week for uh, 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour coaching session, four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that for, if you do that for four weeks, incredible change is possible. If you're committed, you can use it for fitness or business or both. So it's, um, for accountability and support, it's uh, it's going to be a game changer, really. So if you're committed to really investing in your life in in a way and having that support and accountability and hand holding, you know, to to focus on the things that are important to you. By the way, my tagline is fit, focused, and financially free. So that's what I love to help people to to do is to get that level of fitness focus on what's important, what's going to bring you in the direction that you want to go, you know, to that six figure plus earner and financial freedom, obviously is super important because, um, with money, we can have impact and freedom and do the things that we want to do in our lives. And because you're worthy of it, it doesn't even have to be a reason you're worthy. You were born worthy. It's just, we somehow along the way got some belief that we were not worthy and, um, yeah but the great thing is is it's our responsibility and we have it within our power because we are all powerful beings 
to change that. So I would love to have the opportunity to help you to change that. If you want to join my mastermind, message me, reach out. Um, I can tell you uh, already the investment. So for the year currently, and this will go up, but currently it's a $10,000 for the year investment. And otherwise you can pay in installments. <laughs> which, which brings me on to the, the clients that want to pay you in full. So I, I like to make it interesting for a client that does want to pay in full, but sorry, the, the installment version is you pay 2000 upfront and then a thousand for 10 months. So it is a bit more expensive, but you get to, uh, to space it out. And I understand that obviously, you know, if it's not possible to pay in full, then that's, uh, that's uh, definitely a great alternative. But if you want to pay in full, I'm going to add a bonus. And this is how you invite for, for clients who think, well, I could pay in full. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's a lot of money. So here's how I'm going to make it interesting for you. And this is how I invite you to do the same for your clients um, is to offer a reward. <laughs> so what I was, I was thinking about, well, what reward would I offer? So I decided to make this fun, a lot of fun. I love F words, by the way. I'm changing my company name to the F word. All the best words begin with F. <laughs> so fit, focus, financial freedom, fun, frolicking, uh, family, future. <laughs> okay, well, present is probably better, really. But yeah, we we like to focus on on the on having a great creating a great future, consciously creating that great future for ourselves. So here's what it is: it's a uh, five hundred dollar value, and it's not just five hundred dollar value. It's actually yes, I will pay the five hundred dollars. If you live locally or can get to Geneva, it will be lunch and a spa to the value of $500 that we'll do together. Um, or otherwise, you know, if you live in Paris, I will use the $500 to visit you and hang out for a few hours with you for fun. <laughs> or um, if you are living in China and it feels like, well, that's not going to be a possibility to uh, meet for lunch, <laughs> unless you have a private jet, I'm very happy. To, to arrange that, um, but otherwise then it would be a VIP half day. So that's what you'll get as a bonus to pay in full. So it's like a reward for your courage because it does take a lot of courage. And, and I know that because I've been there multiple times, but you know what, when you want to get to there and you're serious about backing yourself and you firmly believe that it's going to work, then you'll do what it takes. Um, another great quote that I put here, I love this, certainty shows up for you when you show up for it. Certainty shows up for you when you show up for it. So if you are certain, then show life, show the universe that you are certain. Certainty shows up for you when you show up for it. And then it's like backing yourself and continuing to back yourself and believing, yes, I am embodying that identity of that six-figure CEO. I am becoming it. And it's just non-negotiable. It's just non-negotiable. That's my decision. And I'm going to do what it takes. So it's that kind of firm energy uh, that you that's required. And obviously, if we work together, I will help you to go deep into that and really um, get very, very clear about that future you. It's so much fun to play with. So what would you do now, right now, if you were certain that you could succeed? If I was you, I'd get inside the mastermind because if you're, you get, you get the, the four weeks as a bonus, plus you get the very fun day, then lunch on the spa or yeah, whatever, you know, it's like you get to choose, you know, you can also suggest something to me to that value. You know, if you say, no, no, I'd much prefer to go drink champagne in the evening or espresso martinis. Um, sure. <laughs> it's your bonus. So just, we have to make it fun. That's the important thing because fun is very important in life. Okay, hope this was beneficial to you. Let me know, let me know in the comments and uh, please message me. Message me if you um, uh, would like, if you've got any questions or um, if you wanna discuss your bonus, the fun bonus, <laughs> things like that. I'd be happy to get on a quick call with you as well if you wanna discuss. And thank you for tuning in. Have an awesome weekend and festive season. I hope you have a peaceful end of year. Lots of love.